Welcome back to LNT, where every month we look into the world of classic literature to make it accessible and understandable for high school students who are non native English speakers. Today we we'll look at Lord Grendel, a classic example of a medieval ballad. We will be exploring the layout of the poem, the rhyme scheme, the division into sections, the settings, the characters, to reveal the literary genre of the poem. First, let's look at the structure and layout of the poem. Lord Rendell is made up of 10 stanzas. Each stanza has four lines, that's why it's called a quatrain. The layout of the poem is very traditional and follows a consistent pattern of questions and answers between Lord Randall and his mother. Now let's look at the rhyme scheme. We can find the same four final words in each stanza. The last words in line one and two look similar, but they don't really rhyme, while the last words of lines three and four rhyme together. So we can say that Lord Randall follows an ABCC rhyme scheme. This rhyme scheme is a common feature in medieval ballads. It creates a sense of musicality that is very important for ballads. Let's divide the poem into sections. The poem is divided into three main sections. Each section reveals a different part of Lord Randall's story, from his return home and telling his mother that he is tired from hunting and needs to rest, to his mother realizing that he has been poisoned and Lord Randall revealing his sick at heart, to his leaving his true love with hell and fire in the last section. As for the setting in time of the poem, we can see that the poem is set in an undefined time. However, the use of archaic words and the focus on hunting suggest it could be set in the Middle Ages. The setting in place is as vague as the setting in time. The only words that are connected to the setting are Greenwood and Hell. In the first section of the poem, there is no indication of anything out of the ordinary about Lord Randall's day, but the fact that he has been in the Greenwood suggests something sinister. The ballad begins with an air of melancholy and mystery highlighted by the refrain, Mother, make my bed soon, for I'm weary with hunting. The characters of the poem are Lord Randall and his mother. We discover a lot about them right from the opening line of the poem. Now let's take a look at the features of the text to see if Lord Randall is really a classic example of a medieval ballad. So, we know that Lord Randall is a poem. We also know that its author is unknown. Lord Randall tells a, a story with a beginning, a problem and an ending. It's arranged in a four-line stanzas. It contains very few details about the characters and the setting. It presents musical characteristics, rhyme, four stresses in each line. It contains a dialogue between a mother and a son. It uses repetitions. And finally, it focuses on treachery. So we can say that the Lord Randall is a ballad. In conclusion, Lord Randall is a perfect example of a medieval ballad with its traditional layout, its simple structure, a clear division into sections, the use of repetition, and the themes of love, treachery, and adventure. The use of archaic language also adds to the traditional feel of the poem and helps to immerse the audience in the story. The rhyme scheme and the use of a refrain 
also helps to create a sense of continuity and flow in the poem. I hope you enjoyed our lesson on the text analysis of Lord Randall. Remember that you can explore more about this poem and other literary works on our website www.literaturenotrouble.com We have a variety of resources and materials to help you understand and appreciate English literature in a fun and interactive way. Don't forget to keep practicing your text analysis skills. They will come in handy when you encounter other literary works in the future. Keep reading, keep learning and keep loving literature. Thank you for watching and have a great day.